Alrighty, my friends, welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan, in case anyone is new here. And if you are new here, please be so kind. Subscribe, and do me a favor. Press the like button. I know, it sounds a little odd. People always say, like, dude, why are you asking me to press the like button at the beginning of the video? J do me this favor. And if you really don't like the video at the end, you can unlike it and then press the dislike button. How's that? A double or nothing type deal here. Do me that favor, press the like button right now. If you end up hating the video, unlike it and then dislike it at the end. Okay, so jumping into it here, we are going to be doing a quick trade recap on a shares trade that I did, but on a long trade now. Now, if you're new here, you probably aren't familiar with my most recent video prior to this one. Uh, it was a shorting video, which I basically shorted the shares, did a trade recap on it, and I explained that, you know, sometimes the shorting videos end up taking a little longer because it's kind of a harder concept to explain. Uh, this one, it's not a shorting one, it's a longing one where you basically bought the shares instead of, you know, where we wanted the stock to go up instead of wanting the stock to go down. So it should be a much quicker video. I think we'll even knock this out in less than 10 minutes. If I do it in less than seven, then hey, that's something because I already spent one minute over here just talking about nothing. So we had a $1,600 profit on the day, $1,625 to be exact. And we were trading the shares. I bought the now before I get into it, let me get a, give a little bit of context here. I was initially watching Boeing because I actually had it on the watch list as well. Uh, I'm not saying that to kind of promote the watch list. I'm just kind of, you know, give context. I had it in two ways. I had it on the watch list and I basically said, okay, if we can get a dip to the 200 area, uh, something along those lines, like I'll be watching it around the 200 area. Uh, to see if we can hold that area to get long, or if we can get a gap up and a spike to the 225 area, I'll be looking to get shorts. And believe it or not, both of them happened. Um, I believe I had it on the watch list from either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, looking, It could have been either one because I look for... Uh, large moves on the previous day for the shorting side. Anyways, besides the fact, uh, it was on there from either Monday or Tuesday, and lo and behold, both of the trade ideas happened. You could have taken the... So basically, they say we're looking at it from two ways. If Boeing gaps up and spikes to the 225, get short. If it dips to the 200 area, or we can hold that 200 area, get long. That was basically the idea there. So I missed this side of the trade. I actually tried to catch it. I placed three orders. I wasn't able to catch the fill and I let it go at this point down here. And I said, all right, man, let it go. Um, and that's pretty much that. So besides that, talking about today's trade, I caught it around the 200 area. So I didn't catch the short play, but I did catch the long play. Now, I didn't catch the short play because I just completely missed it. I mean, it just dropped out from that 225 area. So Keeping that in mind, I got into it right here at the 202 area. Basically, I saw that we were able to hold that 200 area. We dipped down, kind of held above that area, started showing some signs of reversal. So I said, okay, I'm not missing this one now. So I got into the trade. I got into it a little bit lighter size, I guess, than I might have normally. It was a decent size trade, average size trade, if you will. Uh, but either way, I got into it right around the 202 area. And risk to reward wise, I kind of had my risk right below the 200 area. Reward, I would have wanted it to go up to the 207.50 area. But realistically, I should have taken my profit at the 206, at least some of the profit. Uh, but because I was already like, okay, I'm in it a little bit light size. Let me just see if I can hold it to the 207.50 area. So that's a little bit of context there. I should have gotten it out right here at like when it approached that 206, but I didn't. Um, it didn't go against me. I was still in a profit position all day, uh, but I ended up closing it out at the end of the day, right at the 205.15 area. Uh, I didn't really want to hold it overnight and... I mean, I figured it's already pretty much hit that 206 area. I don't need to get that greedy with it. Um, and that, that's pretty much that idea. They're giving you guys the context of the trade now. I'll zoom out a little bit. It might be a little bit too much zoomed in here for you guys. Um, and again, I apologize if I'm talking a little fast. It's because this is pretty basic stuff in terms of saying, hey, we bought the stock here. We sold it there. As opposed to the shorting example where it's a little more uh, needs to have a little more explanation behind it, if you will. So... Let's look at the orders. We were in at 8.32 a.m. It shows it broken up a little bit, but don't worry about it. It was all a total of 500 shares at the price of 201.90. So right around the 202 area, which is basically right here, the 8.32 area. Then I sold all 500 shares at 12.55 
So it was about a four hour long trade, an all day trade. So I guess this also goes to show for some people that, you know, aren't able to be there right directly in the morning or catch those morning trades. Hey, you could have placed it on a lunch break or a break or something, close it out at the end of the day. You know, you place your alerts, all of that. Anyways, I'm not trying to get too sidetracked here. So we had a profit of about $3.25 total. Uh, let's just say 202 to the 205.25 area, we can say, to make it easy for you guys to calculation there. Um, again, I would have wanted it to at least hit the 206, and if I was hoping for the 207.50 area, that's where I would have closed out the entire trade there. Um, but obviously, it didn't hit that, so I closed it out right at the end of the day here, right above the 205 area. I'll zoom back in now that we're talking about the closing area. So this is basically the move that I caught. Nice upward move. And really, there's not much more that goes into it here, guys. We're already five, six minutes in, and I'm pretty much ready to wrap up the trade video here and kind of move on. Uh, and that's pretty much that, guys. So to kind of wrap it up now, I'll do a little closing notes after this. I'll do a quick little recap on it. I bought the shares here. I sold them up here. Quick little move, I guess you can say. Uh, gave us a $1,600 profit. It was about a four-hour long trade. I had 500 shares. I was in at the 201.90, out at the 205. 15 area and that's pretty much that guys so we are going to wrap it up here just i'll do my closing notes now if you are interested in joining the watch list that i mentioned you can go ahead and check out the link in the bio i'm offering a special trial offer for it just for the month of november and i'm also offering a really special black friday sale on the course that I offer. I try not to push the course too much because I know people don't like to hear about that stuff these days. But at the end of the day, if you're open-minded and understand that, you know, you can definitely learn things and, you know, anyways, I don't want to start pitching the whole course. Uh, it's a new course, completely new. All the lessons are new, made fresh from 2020. Uh, I left like three to five of all 70 lessons. Three to five of them are still old lessons. I left that there. Uh, just so that in case any new people do join the course, they don't think, oh, I'm just some random kid off of the block that just made this course. They can see I kind of have that history there. Uh, but anyways, mainly the reason why I did that is just as like kind of a gift to my students, if you will. Uh, normally, these teachers and you know educational, financial educational people will just make a whole new course and say, hey, if you're my student, I'll offer you a discount. But you know, I'm not like that. I wanted to kind of give you guys a whole refresher. So if you are one of my students, you know, go ahead check out the new lessons. Uh, if you're not one of my students but wanted to learn, go ahead. You can click that link. You'll get a discount for the Black Friday as well, or you can email me, contact at Bijan Trades. But that's pretty much that, guys. We'll wrap it up here. As long as I had less than 10 minutes on this video, I think we're good. So hopefully I didn't lose too many of you there. Just please be so kind. If you didn't press the like button at the beginning, press the like button, you know? It's not going to kill you. And if you did press the like button and you hated the video, I guess, you know, I got to be a man of my word. You can go ahead and press the dislike. But hopefully you didn't dislike it. There wasn't much to dislike. I told you guys why I got into the trade, told you why I was looking at it, this, that, and the other. And that's pretty much that. So we'll wrap it up here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Just check out the links in the description for my social medias, you know, everything and all that. And we'll wrap it up and I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you guys have a great night, great life. Great, just be great. I'll talk to you guys soon.